here and welcome to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. This is Ajwal and before you start the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and connect with us. So today I will be creating uh, some festive envelopes with this latest release. This is the Precious Pastels Paper Pack. Uh, it is completely gold foiled and has these beautiful colors and designs which will definitely elevate your festive gifts be it Diwali, Rakhi, Ahuli, whatever you want to create or even for weddings, uh, wedding envelopes and gifts. So today I'm using this nesting circle die and I'm using the uh, fourth circle from the top and I've cut out a bunch of circles using the 6x6 paper pad. So I have four circles uh, from the purple color and then four circles uh, in pink. I also went ahead and used this beautiful ornate die and gold mirror paper and I cut out this these die cuts. They are absolutely stunning. Um, I also used the uh, smallest circle from the nesting dies to cut out a piece of acetate because I will be creating shakers with this uh, ornate circle die. So first of all, let's make our envelopes, which is super, super easy and they look so good. You won't believe it. So I'm going to use these circles and um, circles of cardstock and then just fold them into ha half here. And I'm using the jumbo bone folder. It's such a great ergonomic um, tool. Uh, it doesn't hurt your hands and it leaves you with these very crisp, seamless uh, folds. I just absolutely loved using it. All right, so now that I've folded it, everything in half, it's time to assemble. So I'm going to use these four circles. I'm actually using the grid on my cutting mat to make sure that everything is aligned well and it forms a square. So we are going to um, add these four circles each uh, for one envelope. So four circles for one envelope, that means that I'll be using the, I'll be alternating the design uh, on the purple circles that I'd cut out so that um, I have a symmetry in design and also I'm using the liquid glue here um, so that I have some wiggle room I have some time to make sure uh, that my square is perfect here you can always use a grid uh, or use your um, scoreboard as well to make sure that if you don't have the cutting mat you can just use any kind of grid or use a t-scale to make sure that your square is perfect and then you get this beautiful pinwheel kind of an arrangement here and you form the envelope so i did the same thing with both the purple and the pink papers that i had cut out and now we are going to uh, cut out something for the center to add more glam to the inside of the album as well so i'm using this neutral gray color um, for both of the envelopes and uh, the center is uh three uh, sorry five three by four inches um square so i've cut out a square and i'm going to just use my liquid glue again and add it inside uh, this fits for perfectly but uh, you might want to just measure once uh, again when you are making this envelope so that you can make sure that your uh, little square uh, for the inside is, is perfect. All right, so uh, I'm adding the uh, inside gray uh, foiled paper um, to make the, to beautify the inside. And that way I have these two beautiful envelopes already. So for the decorative part, I actually wanted to create kind of like a giant rakhi on top uh, because I'm making these for Raksha Bandhan. Uh, so I'm using the mini doily die here. I've cut out uh, a couple using the same gold foiled cardstock. And before I do anything else, I'm going to just clean up these dies using this die cleaning tool. It's really such a boon and makes die cleaning so, so, so easy, especially for uh, intricate dies like this. So once these are clean, I'm going to use glossy accents here uh, to adhere the acetate. This is one of the strongest glues that I've come across and it never fails me. So I like using glossy accents uh, for things like this, where it's very, very important that nothing comes off. So I'm just adding uh, some glue on the inside here and then I'm just adhering the acetate circle that we had cut out earlier uh, to form our window. 
So this is such a great idea. I feel something that you can make quickly. Uh, even if you are mailing your rakis, your brothers don't live nearby. You can just make these envelopes quickly and send out your rakis in style. Uh, so here I've added the little doilies in the center just to make it a little bit more fancy, festive and fancy. And now to form the shakers, I'm going to um, cut a few more uh, intricate uh, circles here, the design, the ornament circles here, uh, so that I have some depth to fill the shaker or the sequence in. Um, so I'm adding two more layers of this on its circle just to make it thick and just to have that little depth in the center uh, to be able to hold the glitter and sequins and whatever shaker slices I want to add inside. And then I'm just going to put something heavy on top and make sure that it's completely dry before I add the sequence. All right, so once it's dry, I'm adding the sequence. This is Angel Mix sequence, and it works perfectly for the little purple envelope here. I'm also adding some micro mini pearls and uh, some micro fine glitter. This glitter is my absolute favorite. I love how uh, this looks and shines, especially at night. It reflects the light beautifully. So once you have all your uh, sequins and shaker slices and everything in, we are going to use uh, some vellum to close this window. And you want to make sure here that um, there is enough glue and everything is sealed inside properly. So make sure you have uh, applied the glue to everything here because otherwise everything will just, all the sequins will come out and will fall apart. So make sure that you apply enough glue at this stage and also let uh, the vellum dry like this upside down so that the sequins doesn't come out uh, of your uh, little shaker that we've made here. All right, so this is how it looks. Again, I'm going to put something heavy on top and set this aside and work on the other ones. So other piece, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, add a couple more layers of this uh, beautiful intricate circle. Uh, die here, die cut here so that I can create that depth. Um, a little place inside to fill my sequins in. And this die, ornamental die is from Dress My Craft recently. If you've not visited the website, you should. They are just absolutely stunning and uh, make everything so, so beautiful. So there are a few different shapes available in these intricate dies that you can check out. Okay, so I'm almost done with the second one here. Again, I'm going to put something heavy on top and let it try. And meanwhile, I here decided to trim the vellum with my scissors. It takes a little bit time. And uh, if you want, you can totally skip this and just use a vellum circle instead. Or in fact, you can also completely skip the vellum. But I like using it because it adds that little softness um, and, you know, more uh, detailing to the uh, shaker element but if you want you can just use a cardstock uh, for the back as well so now for the closure since I'm aiming uh, to make it look like a rocky like a giant rocky I'm using a ribbon here it's an organza ribbon that matches the envelope and I'm just making sure that everything is centered here and then I'm using this red tape which is super strong uh, in the center and position my shaker the circle shaker and I'm going to just add it in the center here and then to uh, hide the ribbon and to hide the back side just to make sure that the back side is pretty as well I'm going to cover it with another piece of uh, cardstock that I've cut in circle so again I'm using the gray one here uh, because it's very very neutral and it will also complement the gray that we've used on the inside and just like that, you have this giant rocky that you can tie on your envelope. And it looks really, really beautiful and absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this. So, um, yeah, this is your first envelope. You can, of course, add sentiments if you like. You could say happy rocky or something like that. And then I'm going to now do the same thing with the other one. I'm adding some white sunshine sequins and then this very pale pastel pink sequence that I actually got as a free gift with one of the punches and then I have some microfine glitter and then some mini micro 
uh, pearls here and then yeah same thing so I'm going to add the vellum make sure I have sufficient glue and then every side and every nook and corner is completely glued down let it rest let it uh, and then I'm going to just trim it and do the same thing that add the ribbon and just add my make my giant rocky so this is how the envelopes look i absolutely completely love them i hope you do too and you enjoyed this video so make sure you uh, try them out and i would love to hear your feedback you can always comment and uh, if you have any queries you can ask them in the comments below all right then bye bye i'll see you again soon